What's new, fathead? The basic movie carded figures come with a ring. Will the cartoon version have a ring, and if so, is it the same ring or a different design? We are not ready to reveal our plans for the animated line, time will tell. Uh, to me, it'd have to be a different ring because the ring that they reduced with the Mover Masters line actually looks realistic. You'd have to do something a little bit more cartoonish. Uh, any chance of getting any play sets for GL? At this time, our high price item is the transforming Ring Blast Jet. We're looking at the potential possibilities for play sets, so stay tuned. The Ring Blast Jet is not a play set, so the answer is no. They're looking into it, um, but the Ring Jet, the, ble the Jet is not a play set. It's a construct. Now. We will, will we have a decent hero and villain pack out ratio? I'd hate to see what Hasbro did with that Iron Man 2. Tons of Iron Men and very few villains to fight with. There is a giant villain in Green Lantern in the form of Parallax, and we will see him in the three, three and three quarter inch scale with the final battle set with a gate kid grab and eat feature, as well as collector movie master Parallax. You can uh, collect and connect with 11 or 12 movie masters. The second how. Uh, the second Movie Master Howl will come with a die cast ring instead of a parallax part. Okay, the question was, will we get a decent hero to villain pack ratio? The answer is no. What they just said is, there's only going to be uh, the two villains, and it's both parallax, just represented in different ways. The Collect and Connect will be the final showdown pack, and if you haven't seen it, I'm going to try to review it. Very cool. It rolls around, and then you can actually grab an action figure and suck it into uh, Parallax's stomach. Now, the Parallax Collect and Connect comes uh, in the Movie Master's figure. So, the long and short of it is, there's only one villain. That's it. You're going to have all these other Light Lanterns, but he is, to their credit, he is a great big villain. Of course, Hal beat him by himself anyway, uh, <clears throat> but Hal's Hal. He's the greatest Green Lantern of them all. Now, is there, if there had been a retail interest, what, uh, what characters would you have liked to have seen in GL DC Universe Wave 3? It wasn't due to our lack of retail interest that Gene Lan uh, Green, uh, Green Lantern Classics didn't go beyond Wave 2. It was due to the Horsemen only being able to sculpt so many figures in a year. Green Lantern Classics was not canceled or anything. It was a wave, it was a two-wave strategy to get some GL product out to the market during quarter one and quarter two uh, before the shelf date of May 1st for the movie product. This isn't exactly what I'd heard before. Uh, this is a little different. I had heard that there wasn't retailer interest for Wave 2. I might be missing wrong. I think it definitely has to do with the, uh, the Four Horsemen. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying they're lying about it. I'm just saying that we have heard some different things in the past. Now, we... Okay, are the leaders of the other colored lanterns coming soon in the DC Universe Classics line, or is the tooling too much to get those any, out anytime soon? We do want to get these characters in time. We know that there is a lot of fan interest, and it is a priority of the next few years to find a way to get them out into the line. Okay, uh, the leaders of the other, uh, other colored lanterns, well... Carol Ferris, I, I don't know if she's the leader anymore, though, is she? She's not the, she's not the queen of the Zamorans anymore. Um, I guess they're talking about La Flea's, uh Atrocitus. To be honest with you, they need to make them now because now people have lost their, their kind of blackest night is behind. Uh, uh, brightest day is, is basically behind. And now we're into Flashpoint, which really has some very cool characters. And so... but. The cartoon's coming out, so we'll see what happens with that. Will Mira be made... They're talking about the Mira for the, the Deputy Lantern, Mira Rage Lantern. Will Mira be made either into a regular version or a Red Lantern in the DC Universe Classics line? Hopefully one day. She is 100% uh, tool, and there are only so many 100% tool figures we can do per year. We'd love to get to her, just no plans right now. I mean, you can't blame them. I mean, they're trying to get as much as they can out to us. I mean, really, they're giving us some great stuff. If they have to cut a few corners sometimes, I mean, can we blame them? Any chance of a collect and connect construct? Uh, 
We do want to get to construct, but as we've created, as they were created very late in the filmmaking process, we did not have reference for them in time for the 2011 uh, collector line. Uh, I can buy that. Uh, I don't know what you'd call a collect and connect construct. I mean, talking about an anti-aircraft gun. Uh, I mean, what, what exactly would we be talking about there? Okay. Any chance of producing glow-in-the-dark construct? That is an excellent idea. No plans right now, but maybe one day. That, I think those would be cool. Uh, sticking with the glow-in-the-dark uh, aspect, any chances of the rings on the figures might one day have this ability? Also a cool suggestion, but something you will, uh, but not something you'll see in 2011. <laughs> That'd be very cool. I think we should have had a glow-in-the-dark how figure. I mean, they're making all these, you know, maximum charge figures. How much? Why not a, a, a glow-in-the-dark one? Now, uh, what kind of design difficulties did the transforming constructs create in terms of having a cool toy that would function properly and still be safe? It wasn't that much harder compared to other transforming or changing toys, but it was fun to uh, pioneer the battle shifter technology. If you haven't seen it, really, it's remarkable what they did with those things. I mean, to go from one construct to the next, um, I know I've been hard on some of them, but man, it is some very, very cool technology. We hope kids will really gravitate towards to, to, is, um, gravitate to this great way to play out GL. I think it really is a great way to play out GL. I think that they should have had some constructs that that go with the uh, transforming constructs that go with the DCUC. Right now, I haven't been able to get them to fit on my figures. How much time does scanning characters shave off production time for the figures? Good question. It is, a, it is less of a time saver and more of a help in getting the toys to look closer to the movie versions as you see on screen. I can buy that because basically you're just uh, painting it. How many ways will it take to complete the parallax figure? Movie masters are not released in waves, but rather in rolling mixes. You will need 11 of the 12 figures to build parallax. The second maskless howl that sh will ship in the fall comes with a die cast ring instead of a parallax piece. Okay. Do the designers get any input to which characters get produced? Yes, they get the first pass and then we bring it to Warner Brothers, DC, and filmmakers for their input. Thanks for the designers for their cool, their cool uh, stuff. How many waves are already, have already been decided upon? Characters settle on just pending retailer interest. There will be 20 characters in the basic line, 12 minute movie masters, uh, along with a few extra figures and retailer exclusives, such as a six, such as six of the Guardian figures, uh, the Walmart two packs, uh, a Martin Jordan figure in a pilot pack at Kmart. Martin Jordan? What in the world are you doing? Uh, never mind. And a movie master, Aben Sewer, in the TRU pack. That, that's actually pretty cool. And you will also see oversized movie masters on MattyCollector.com. Uh, that they're talking about Green Man and Kellawog, and those uh, Kellawog. Um, I'm going to be reviewing. He is an awesome figure. Green Man was pretty. Green Man was pretty cool too. Well, I'm out of time. I hope you've enjoyed these interviews. Make sure you check them out. We really appreciate Mattel taking the time uh, to do this for us. And uh, we hope you got, we got some good information there. Maybe gives you a little bit inside of the, the industry.